Welcome to the AIM Insight e-training series presented by AIM Sports, providing support and training of your AIM Sports products when and where you want it. This module is discussing the Channels Report function in Race Studio 2. The Channels Report function can be an efficient and valuable tool to look at critical parts of your data in an easy-to-view, user-definable report. To open the function, you can open the View pull-down menu and select the Channels Report item, or the better way is to use the primary icon toolbar and select the channel's report icon. This is the channel report and here you can see we are viewing only the minimum and maximum GPS speeds for the four active laps of this test. But we really need to define more channels to look at and we do that by clicking on the add remove button. This opens the add remove report objects window. This is where we can create a channels report that covers what you need to see. As you can see, the window is made up of three sections. The first segment is available channels. The next segment is the available report objects, or what we want to show about the available channels. Most common are what we already have shown here, which is the minimum and maximum values for the channel, as shown here with the GPS speed channel. But we really want to look at more than just the minimum and maximum GPS speeds for each lap. Let's look at how to add report objects for different channels. In this case, select the MRPM item and we will add the minimum and maximum values to the report. Now select the minimum item. Then we have four choices of arrows to add or remove report objects. To add objects, we work with the top two arrows pointing into the shown report objects box. The double arrow on top moves all of the available report objects into the shown report objects list, but that is rarely what you would want, so in this case we will click on the single arrow to move just the minimum value into the shown report objects box. Now let's do the same thing with the maximum value for the MRPM channel. First we click on the maximum object, then click on the single arrow. Now let's quickly add the minimum oil pressure for each lap. First, click on the oil pressure channel, then click on the minimum report object, and then click on the single arrow to add it to the shown report objects. When we have finished selecting what objects we want to see in the report for each channel, then click on the OK button to accept and close the Add Remove Report Objects window. This is now what your channels report will look like. All of the values you want and need to see for the specific channels that are important to you. There is one other option we need to discuss. It is the adding button controls to the measure bar. And to get to that function, let's again click on the add remove button. This again opens the add remove report objects window. And in this window, you can see the add button controls in measure bar choice. Let's go ahead and click on the checkbox and show what this function does. To finish this function and close the window, we need to click on the OK button. As you can now see in the measures bar, toggles are now available to quickly add all of the available objects for each channel. This is just another option for you. Let's go ahead and now turn off that option by selecting the Add Remove button. This opens the Add Remove Report Objects window. Then just uncheck the Add Button Controls in Measure Bar checkbox. And then click on the OK button to accept the change and close the window. As you can see, the Channels Report function can be a very efficient way of looking at your data, especially the items that you are going to look at after each and every test. For more AIM Insight eTraining content and information about upcoming on-site training seminars, visit www.aimsports.com forward slash support, your source for support and training of AIM Sports products when and where you want it.